Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the new casting, and we've got a bunch of theories that are very interesting, and they may have just been confirmed, but we'll talk about that in today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the other day we got our first announcement, and this is not coming from the CW, it's coming from the actor himself. He is a Russian-Canadian, so he's currently living in Vancouver, aka he doesn't have to quarantine or anything, he is a Vancouver local. And so this guy, Nick, on Instagram, he is known as the Nick V, and you guys can go check him out. He's been very interactive with the Supergirl fan base since we found out that, you know, he was being cast in the show. He was able to announce it. Obviously, we don't know what character he is, and I got confirmation the other day that he's not going to be a villain. So, theories to do with that, don't think that's the case. But what is very interesting, if you've been following his Instagram, he's been asking his followers and, you know, Supergirl supporters to send in theories about his casting because he wasn't able to announce like who specifically he is and so he's been encouraging people to send in theories and so lots of people have been sending in their theories and he actually reposted some of those and so one of them was really interesting that he reposted and i wanted to bring up in a video because i think it's definitely something to consider obviously this is a bit out there however let's take it as in maybe this could happen because he reposted it. So what he was talking about in this repost was someone sent in a theory, caramel underscore dot wood on Instagram said, well, I reposted a post that she saw on Instagram from dctv.feed. Obviously you can check out them. I think they're pretty good on Instagram. And they put in a fan theory and it says this, could the new cast member coming to Supergirl be Caramel's son? Now this is something that we've theorized about for a long time. Will we get to see a version of their son come back from the future? That could be a possibility and I think it's not too out there because we've seen it on the other shows. The Flash has done it. They did it with Barry and Iris' future daughter, Nora. She was a huge main character in season 5. She appeared in season 4 and she played a vital part in their storyline for two seasons long. And so, it's not unprecedented. Also, they've done that on Arrow many times. There's been many iterations of future children coming back from the future to the present day. Obviously, most recently, you have the Smoke and everyone like that that you saw on Arrow. So, you know, there is definitely a precedent for this. And I wouldn't say it's too far out there. And so, in reply to this theory, Nick says, I honestly love reading all your theories. Keep them coming. And he specifically did repost this so I think that is very interesting and I believe this possibly could be a thing. Also a thing that DCTV.feed pointed out in their fan theory post was that Nick actually looks pretty similar and obviously in terms of facial features and in terms of body build that was mentioned in the post in regards to Chris. So I think this is actually pretty relevant because when we went back to season 4 of The Flash and we saw everything that was happening with who we were calling Nora as the mystery girl at the time, we theorized that this was Barry Allen's daughter with Iris West, and that's because she looked like a pretty good mix of the two of them, and I think there is precedent for that. Obviously, it's a bit different in terms of all the other shows. I wouldn't say Mia looks that similar to Oliver, she looks more like Felicity. However, you have to remember it's pretty hard to get casting bang on for children in TV shows and films because in real life they're not actually related at all, so it's pretty hard to get a good actor who looks perfectly like two other characters. So yeah, with The Flash it was pretty obvious that they were setting up something there. We are theorizing, is this Dawn Allen, is this a new version, is she part of the Tornado Twins? And obviously, at the end of the season, at the end of season 4, we got the reveal that she is called Nora West Allen, and she is the daughter of Barry and Iris from the future. So, what happens if we get something like this? We have a sort of Legion-like story this season, it's been said many times, Jesse Raff has been teasing that. What happens if Kara and mon son is a member of the Legion of Superheroes in the future? I would say that's very, very likely, because if they ever had a son on the TV show, it would be someone with powers because they both have their own powers 
One's from Krypton, one's from Daxum. Obviously, this would be a crossover of those two planets and those two different power sets. So, it's very interesting. And also, you have to note on the Flash, you had Nora who had speed and basically took part of Barry's powers. But then she had her mum's lightning when Iris once had the speed force in her and she was a speedster. And so, that's why it's purple. And then she also has the yellowy orange lightning that Barry has. So, you would presume with this logic that the shows have gone by in the past, probably if they had a son, or a girl for that matter, but we're specifically talking about son because this is the casting that we've seen and this is what we're theorizing about, they would have a mix of the powers of Supergirl and mon -El. And considering their parents would be superheroes, obviously Supergirl and mon -El, or Valor, were superheroes or still are at the point in the future where he comes from, I'm sure it's pretty damn likely that their son would be a superhero in the future. So if we take that logic and we apply it to what we know is happening this season with the Legion-like storyline, what happens if we get the return of their son from the future, who is a member of the Legion of Superheroes and for some reason comes back in the past, maybe needs their help in the future, and maybe this can lead towards the end of the season and what everyone has been theorizing about, that Kara will leave and go to the future and mon -El will be in the future and what happens if they take their son with them and that is the reason why they go back or Kara goes for the first time. And so what Nick said in reply to this theory was, yeah, this is very interesting essentially. He is intrigued by it, he reposted it and he thought it was cool and maybe, just maybe, that could be real. Obviously he's not able to reveal anything because he's obviously signed a non-disclosure agreement which you do when you are cast on a big show. Even if your role is tiny, you won't be able to say anything. So as of right now, we don't know what type of role he's going to be. He's not going to be a villain, we know that. He's going to be either a guest star or a recurring star. But however, he is a Vancouver local, so there is a chance he'll be a guest star because he's not going to have to quarantine at all. And it's going to be a big deal for actors coming in from America because they need to keep them around for a longer time considering they have to stay for two weeks before they can actually shoot. So what do you guys think of this theory? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really intrigued to see your thoughts because I think this is a very interesting theory and I think it could be true because I think it's a good way for them to end the season and considering all the news we've had in regards to the storyline being something to do with Legion, it would make sense and I like the theory. Okay. So let's move on to the next thing. So he reposted some other theories and one that he reposted was about him being Brainiac 5's brother. And in reply to that, he said something like, I love this one too. So obviously he's being very mysterious and all these theories I think are interesting. And I think the ones he reposted, maybe there is some significance to it. I'm not saying that it's gonna be exactly what these theories are. But it could be something similar because we've seen it done in the past with other actors and, you know, guest stars coming on the show and they post about it and people start speculating and it turns out to be pretty much true a lot of the time. Obviously, this is coming out of nowhere and we've had no actual clue as to who Nick is playing apart from that sources close to the set have confirmed that's not going to be a villain to me. So it's wide speculation right now, but I think these are good theories and I think it's even more interesting that he reposted them. So definitely there is a chance, there is a possibility that some of this may potentially come through. And I think it is kind of a big factor that he kind of looks a bit like Chris or the way he's built looks a bit like him. And I think the similarities could be a thing. And considering how we think the season is going to end, there is a chance that we may see a future version of one of their children if that does happen. Obviously, it doesn't mean that this is 100% going to happen. Like, we don't even know if Kara is going to go to the future or not, or if she's ever going to meet mon -El again. We have no idea. Possibly, maybe they never meet again. That could be a real thing. However, by the way that they set up everything in the past, it doesn't look like anyone's actually moved on from it. And I think there is a strong chance in the future if Chris returns as mon -El, or if he's just mentioned, this could be the way maybe it goes down. Something like this. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
Icy Room.